Once again, we'll start with a statement from Dave and then open it up for questions for the student athletes. Well, kind of in line with the rest of the first two ball games, it was a, a good ball game with a with a thrilling finish. Um, it didn't go our way this time, and but I thought we I thought it was a, a great ball game against two two really good clubs, and the level of game was was really high. And uh, um, you know what I, I told our team at the end. I mean, it's if we if we break it down to the smallest level, they got two guys on. They got a bunt down and a base hit, right? So they executed uh, in order to win that ball game. And so you got to you got to give them credit for doing that. We had plenty of opportunities throughout the day with runners in scoring position. Could have got that same hit and uh, widened the gap or or extended a lead and, and just weren't able to do that uh, a lot because of their the, the the good pitching that they they provided. Uh, Joey did an outstanding job getting us started. You know, got us started for the first four, handed it off to Drew Dowd, and you know I guess they they played a. They played a way better two and two or two and one thirds innings than than we did there at the end after after the break and um, so my hats off to Wake Forest you know to beat the number one team in the country you're gonna have to play a uh, a pretty flawless game and we we uh, we kicked a couple opportunities early in the game but we'll come back we'll learn from that and and be ready to go uh, next game. Okay, let's open it up for questions for the student athletes now. Uh, raise your hand. We'll get a hand mic to you and again give us your name and affiliation. First question for the student athletes, please. Okay, right here in the back, Tina. Okay, so Mike Farron from Sirius XM. Joey, it's one of the top offenses in the country. How were you able to keep them off balance? I think it was just mixing early. You know, I think they were looking fastball early, throwing a lot of changeups, a lot of curveballs, and just keeping them off balance. Throwing anything in any count really helped. Okay, up here. Hi, Ron Kortzik from the San Francisco Chronicle. Um, Carter, what what was that break like? Did it did it sort of I don't say momentum, but how how much did that disrupt the rhythm of the game, and how hard was it to get going again afterward? Yeah, I mean, obviously we don't want to like point the finger at any delay or any single play. We tried to keep our momentum and keep our rhythm, stayed loose. We were playing hacky sack in the locker room, just trying to stay together and have a good time because that's what we're here to do. Okay, next question. Evan. Evan Bland, Omaha World Herald. Uh, for either one of you guys, I mean, you guys have fought back from elimination games in, in both the rounds to get to this point. What is it about this team that seems like you guys rise up when your backs are against the wall? Joey, you start. Um, you know, I think it's just us playing together collectively, knowing we have guys to do it. It's the same game, whether it's an elimination game or not. You should still try to have as much fun. And we got a guy, Quinn Matthews, coming tomorrow, so I like our chances. Yeah, I mean, just like Joey said, I mean, we've we have a really balanced team. We really believe in each other, and like Esky said, they got the big hit tonight. But we have guys all up and down our lineup who have been getting that hit all year, so we believe in it. Okay, in the back here, Brennan. Brennan Prizman, Omaha World Herald. Uh, Joey, this is for you. You mentioned Quinn coming tomorrow, obviously, but what does it mean to you that you you were trusted with the start today? And not only that, but you were able to go out there and hold one of the better offenses in the country to such a low output. Yeah, I think there was plenty of guys on our roster that were able to do that. If you had given Drew, Drew Dowd the ball, uh, inning one, I think he could have given you just as many innings or outs that we had today. And I think we have a lot of guys that can do that for sure. Okay, Jake. Jake McKeever, College Baseball Central. This question's for Carter. Threw a ton of pitches in that first inning, fouled a ton off. What was kind of y'all's approach there from the start? Yeah, I mean, obviously we went into this game knowing we're facing a dude. I mean, Lauder's a great pitcher and had a great year, so our goal was kind of just nameless and faces. We're going to get in there and we're going to get our best swing off on a pitch that's over the plate, and it doesn't matter who they throw or what they can do, and that's what we did. Okay, once again, Ray. Ron. Carter, kind of expanding on the earlier question about elimination games. You guys won five, five and zero this year. I think you won five last year. Yeah. Does it feel when you're in an elimination game? What what's the vibe? Does it feel more urgent, or why do you think in those situations you guys uh, produce so well? Yeah, I think I think we do a really good job with our backs against the wall of just not forgetting that it's the same game we've been playing all year. I mean, I think a mistake in those games is to think you have to do more or to try harder and worry about failure. I think that we trust our guys up and down the lineup, the Alberto Rioses and, and those people who have been getting the big hit all year, they, they just come together and do it. 
Okay, any more questions for the student athletes? Okay, Brendan, this would be our last one for the guys. Uh, this is for both of you guys. Both of you guys have been on the rosters for now, three consecutive World Series, College World Series. Carter, I know you just mentioned not trying to do anything special with this, but is there anything in particular that you guys have learned now that this is your third time in Omaha that you br try and bring a little extra to the ballpark? Carter. Yeah, I think that, um, I mean, Eski says it best. I think that we just try and stay as long as we can. Um, I think that if we can fight together and, and scratch a couple elimination wins and hang here long enough, I think we can get our rhythm and get hot and, and really surprise a lot of people. Joey? I think you said it best, kind of just sticking the course, just playing the same game. Okay, guys, thank you. We're we'll excuse you too, and we'll open it up for questions for Dave. Okay. Okay, first question for for Dave. Eric? Eric Smith from D1 Baseball. Dave, just uh, going into this game, knowing you're going against a pitcher like that, and it seemed like early on you guys were taking some early swings. Was that kind of the, the, the uh, game plan? Uh, as far as like kind of attacking before he got uh, deep into counts. Yeah, we wanted to be we wanted to be aggressive for sure, you know, and and kind of use the middle of the diamond, just you know, kind of hold that line to the middle because he's got such good off speed stuff as well. So it keeps us would keep us on that if we were out front. Um, and then you know, we just we got into some plus counts and got some base runners on, and it's just looking for that that hit to kind of extend. And and uh, I think we jumped on him early, got his pitch count up, and. You know, was able to get him out of there in, in, in five and a third, which was, you know, if we get to the pen, some, who knows what could happen if we extended some of the some of the uh, relief pitchers. Okay, next question. Okay. Right. Matty Marinas, White and Blue Review. Uh, with Joey's outing, we saw a lot of called strikes, a lot of whiffs, not much contact, even with foul balls. Why do you think? What do you think he was able to do today against that lineup to just? I guess keep them a little bit hesitant. Yeah, you know what that line. There's very little margin for error. Like you've got to, you've got to be able to tunnel your pitches, and you've got to be, you've got a small narrow window that you've got to you got to put the baseball. Otherwise, they can they can hurt you. You know, and he missed out over the plate. To, uh, I believe it was Wilkin, and and he made him pay for that. But that was just you know from trying to go middle away to, to a little bit middle in. So I thought Joey did a really good job of of spotting up not not only his fastball but his breaking pitches as well. Because again. You've got a small window that if you if you if you miss out over the plate, um, they're they're a great offense and their numbers prove that. And he did a great job just with pitch mix and keeping him off balance. His off speed stuff was was really good today. Um, I thought Drew came in and did a, did a nice job as well. You know, we just and we held the lead going in. You know, with an out in the eighth, and you know they got a big Corona with the big hit, but they got they got a bunt down too. So give him credit for executing and, and winning that ball game. Ron. Dave, what, what's sort of the emotional impact of, of losing that way, to be up most of the game and then up through an hour and a half rain delay? I mean, in real time, you guys were ahead for three hours. And then to lose sort of suddenly, is that is there any impact of that? Is it sort of jarring at all for your players? That's a good way to think about it. We were, we're only behind for about three or four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to check what the time of game was because you're right. Um, um, yeah, you know, it hurts no matter what. You know, you come this far and, and you play with your guys, and uh, that's what I really appreciate our team. I think when people ask about why we're so good at elimination games is uh, I, I think a lot has to do with the culture of our program. They, they don't want to give that jersey up, right? They don't want it to be the last day they spend with their teammates. And so I think they fight harder uh, knowing that, that that that's a possibility and I think that's that's kind of hats off to the brotherhood and the culture that, that our program has. Okay, Matt. Uh, Coach, Matt Talbany from World Baseball Network. Um, Joey just gave up one mistake today to Brock Wilkin in the, in the second inning, and nonetheless he pitched really good to keep you know you guys in it. Um, what's it going to take for, for you guys on Monday just to eat up some innings out of Quinn Matthews out of his last 156 pitch performance? Yeah, you know it's going to obviously you know giving giving Quinn that extra day, and we'll see we'll see what we hope he can bring us, get us into the sixth or seventh inning, and then and then we're going to have to you know rustle up some magic in the back end of that bullpen, which has been a little bit of just of a mix and a match. And 
you know, it's going to be, it, it, it very well could be Quinn's last outing. And I know he'll, he'll want to give us his best. And we're going to face a good lineup no matter who that is, whether it's LSU or Tennessee. It's going to be a, it's going to be a really good lineup and a, and a, and a big challenge for us. So um, I'm glad that, that Quinn's going for us, you know, and, and uh, I'm looking, for him to, looking forward to seeing him give us another, another great outing. Okay. Mike, we're going to run out of time here in a moment, guys. So, Sorry. Uh, I guess, what did you see from Sullivan with his pickoff throws? Uh, when he came in the game, he got, you know, two off first base. Yeah, like those uh, you know, place. crazy. I didn't see anything special. I, thought, I, think we held, I think we did more wrong than he did right. Uh, you know, uh, one of those things that we, we're going to have to learn. You make that mistake and, and, and you just learn. I was teasing our coaches at the break that, you know, um, you know, th- this gives us an opportunity to learn what we what we need to be on top of in the future. Maybe we don't hit as much. Maybe we work on our base running more than our hitting next year, I guess. Uh, but yeah, not you know, not in a situation either one of those. N- none of them are running. It's just a secondary lead, and we should have been safe getting back. I mean, if we stuck to our fundamentals, we shouldn't have been picked off there. But you know, in in a, in a big game with a with uh, the game moving fast, uh, sometimes you lose your fundamentals. Okay. We're going to have to drop it there, Dave. Okay. We'll see you. All right. On Monday. Thank you.